Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video I'll be showing you how to do all three Dire Maul instances for your classic Dungeon Master achievements. Now, if you have a certain boss you have to do, you don't have to get all three or something like that. There's annotations on the screen, screen you can click them, and it'll take you specifically to that part of the video so you can get that walkthrough. And you don't have to watch the whole video, so I mean, I'm just doing you a favor here, you know what I mean? But uh, if you're watching the whole thing, hi, my name is Mike, like I said, I make videos sometimes, and sometimes I talk, and sometimes they're pretty fun. Uh, what's up? What's, how's it going? Good? Good. So we're starting off with Dire Mall East. There's two entrances, at least, that I know of, or three, I guess. The entrance in the courtyard takes you uh, to that left portal on the map there. The one I took is a little bit faster. That's why I, that's why I took it. In this instance is Dire Mall East, and we're going for Alzen, I believe his name is. God, I should probably check the all these in, all this information before I do the, the commentary. But anyway, so all the Dire Mall instances are about... Thir late 30s to about mid 40s. I believe this one is the lowest level one. It's about the it's the late 30s, so it starts off easy and it progressively gets harder in terms of levels. But if you're level 90 or up, I mean, it's not the goddamn hard. Anyway, so you don't have to kill the lady boss up there. The only boss you have to kill is the the demon hoof guy to unlock the 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 iron bark tree, which unlocks the last boss. So, um, what was I gonna say? Dire Maul is, for the longest time, I, up until I made these walkthroughs actually, I was just so confused about where the entrances were, what to do, how to get anywhere, and it was so confusing. I hated Dire Maul because it was so confusing and big and weird and confusing, and I was just like, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do here. So, the one thing I'm really happy about with these walkthroughs is that I'm learning all these stuff, all the stuff that I didn't know, and this is, by the way, the boss that you have to kill to... Just kill this boss, and you'll, I'll tell you in a minute, minute why I have to kill him. Uh, so, like I said, it's nice doing these walkthroughs, because I now, like, Dire Maul, I now know how to do it. I, I, I learned it by myself. I, didn't wa I don't watch walkthroughs. I go in and actually figure out what I have to do, who I have to kill. Um, and the reason you killed that, that boss, by the way, was so you could unlock this guy. Uh, you have to talk to him, and if you, if you don't kill that boss, he doesn't have that clickable, talkable thing. So you have to kill that boss, and he's going to open up the door to the last boss. So that's all you have to do. But yeah, it's nice that I now like I, I I go in and I figure out what I have to do. Sometimes I'll wow head it like, do I have to kill this boss to one to one? Like for example, I had to wow head Iron Bark to see if there's if I have to kill all three bosses or if it was just a certain one or something like that. And it turned out I decided to kill that one boss, so that was nice to know. And it's, I just like knowing stuff now. Like I like having that knowledge. So if I ever have to come here, I, I know what I'm doing and. I just, I don't know, I like having knowledge of how to do certain things in WoW. Anyway, off this, you can jump right down. Uh, you won't hit, you won't die, as you can see. And this is the last boss now. You can kill him right away, and that's what you're probably going to do. But as a higher level, it's going to... High, if you just skip, I'll, t I'll talk to you in a second. But if you if you kill him right away, as, as you will, as, as a higher level, uh, you won't have an easy exit out. I believe that 40% health, he, uh, that rock that was beside him, all these imps come out. So... Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you really can do that at level 90 or uh, as a higher level. But how's it going? If you skip ahead of the video, this is Dire Maul West. We're doing Imolthar, I believe, is the final boss here. And now to unlock Imolthar, you have to first destroy or disrupt these five crystals. The, for the first one I was just doing in that courtyard there, and I'm on my way to the other one. Uh, in this instance, I believe it's like low level 40s mobs. So you go up these stairs and you see there's two pylons or pillars or diamonds or crystals, whatever you want to call them, on one on each side, guarded by these mana remnants. You kill these four re mana remnants and then that crystal kind of just shuts off by itself. And like I said, there's five of them. And what these crystals are doing is they're creating a force field around Imulthar, which, you'll, which I'll show you <clears throat> when we get there. And if you try to walk into that and in, in through that... that what the hell did I just call it? That force field or whatever? It's just gonna, it's, it's like a wall, you won't be able to walk through it. So at this point I've done three, and you can jump off like right off, like right off in the, into that courtyard where the last boss is. You won't die, but obviously I didn't make the jump, so I was like, screw it, I guess I have to run. But if you do make it, you can just walk where I'm gonna go, but otherwise if you don't make it, you can just go this way. And this boss you don't have to kill, you, I don't think you have to kill any bosses. Yeah, you don't have to kill any bosses in Dire Maul West to unlock the last boss. You just have to kill these the, the crystals that I was talking about. And now we're on our way to the last boss. And I thought, for the longest time, I thought the, the other, the, the prince, whoever, the one that's above Imulthar was the last boss. Because, like, you have to, I don't know, you have to, like, it's like a separate gate for him. I didn't think he was the last boss. I thought it was, like, a two-part, two-end bosses, but whatever. 
Oh, excuse me. Wow. So, this floor, by the way, I'm trying to like, I tried to charge a heroic leap, but for some reason, it wasn't letting me. It was saying there's no path available. So as you see, I'm like trying to charge this guy. I'm trying to heroic leap, but it's not working because it's saying there's no path. So uh, that was kind of weird. And I finally got it to work. But at this point, I've done four out of the five crystals on my way to the fifth one. And then once you do the fifth one, the, the force field shuts down and then you can just go one shot in Ulthar. Again, there isn't an easy way out as far as I know, so you just got to run the run back the way you came to to get out of this Dire Maul West instance. So there he goes, the big dog's dead. I think it's a demon, so you can't even tame him. Sorry about that. Uh, hello, if you if you skipped ahead of the video, this is Dire Maul North. You missed quite the five minutes of packed, jam-packed action. Uh, the entrance, obviously, is in the north side of the courtyard. It doesn't matter which portal you take, there's two there. Actually, no, I lied. There's, this isn't the one, that was West, my bad. There's only one portal. For this instance, it's pretty nice. You don't have to kill any of the bosses to get to the last boss. And they changed it. I don't know when, but they changed it that you don't need keys to unlock the doors anymore. Because I know back in the day, you needed, for example, the door I'm about to go through that's pretty much in front of me right now. You needed like a key to get through there. And the, I think the boss dropped the key or something like that. And it was annoying because sometimes you get into an instance where people, where no one had the key for some reason. They're like, what? how, how does no one have the key? You guys killed, what? How? So it was kind of frustrating, but nice. It's nice now that you don't have to have keys for instances like this one or Nolmergen or uh, any. Well, I think there's one more that you need like key for, but it's nice that you don't have to do that. But uh, this place is, I believe, it's the around the higher, like the mid 40s in terms of mobs. I'm pretty sure that's the level range here. This is the highest. This is the this is the quote-unquote last Dire Maul instance, the, so it's kind of the hardest one. And there's a whole bunch of, like, guards that I don't think are marked on the map. Maybe they are, like, special guards just kind of patrolling that you can kill for extra loot if you want. Uh, and this door as well is another one you have to, like, open up and stuff. And by the way, this is the instance where you get that ogre suit. I believe it's consumed on you, so I don't know if you really want it. But the just below where you went up the ramps to get up into this place, there's a quest there, and then you can... Doing that quest gives you that ogre suit, so if you're interested, that's that. But as always, there's an end slate at this video, at the end of this video, so you can click any of the other dungeons and get a walkthrough for them. My name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching. You're going to go up this little ramp, and then the last boss will just be there, ready for you to kill. So thanks for watching, and have a terrific day. See you in the next video.